Hey guys, it's Brenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and like this video. So today we are going to a diner that my mom recommended in Alcoa, Tennessee. So stay tuned for our fun adventure. So here we are in Alcoa at Hot Rods. 50s diner. My mom came here this weekend and recommended it, so we're gonna try it out. I just want you guys to check out this trash can. Isn't it cool? Fried burger. Jeremy just asked me who Elvis was. You said, you said, I think Elvis liked that burger. And it's like thinking you knew this person. I like goes, somebody else named Elvis. Lord help me. He just asked me who Elvis was. She didn't specify Elvis Presley. She just said Elvis. I know who Elvis Presley is. Is there more than one Elvis? Is there yeah, more than I'm sure one? there is. Jeremy's not original and he wanted garlic bread. This is an original garlic bread. Look how cheesy that is. It's like a cheese. It does look good though. Oh god. Is it good? <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys some things that are on this menu. There's literally so much that I thought would be so good. My mom got the fried bologna sandwich. Which she said was good. We also have fried pimento cheese balls, which I thought would be really good, but Jeremy doesn't like anything, so. Let me just read you the descriptions of some of these burgers. So, these are pretty much all normal burgers on this first. Thing. But then they have a taco burger that's made with Cajun seasoning, cheddar cheese, shredded cheese, or shredded lettuce, tomato, black olive, sour cream, and salsa. They have a peanut butter burger that has peanut butter and bacon on it. And then they have the Elvis burger, which has peanut butter and bananas on it. Um. I have a broccoli burger that has broccoli and cheddar on it. Then they have donut burgers. So they use donuts as the bun. I kind of wanted to try that, but not really because it's always so sweet when you get a donut as a bun opposed to whatever. But it's a steak burger topped with shredded or topped with sharp cheddar cheese and crispy bacon served between two glazed donuts in place of the bun. We have a pizza burger, a pesto burger, bologna burger, 
Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on here. Like, this menu is massive. <laughs> also, they have something called the Chubby Challenge. So I'm gonna show you. It says, giant 33 ounce triple decker smooth, smothered with American cheese garnished with lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles served with one pound of fries. If you eat it all, including the fries, within 30 minutes of arrival, you get a free t-shirt. And within 45 minutes, you get your picture on the wall, but no shirt. Apparently, that's its actual size. So yeah, there's a lot of options here. They also have a lot of dessert options. So I'm gonna get a dessert, even though, even though. You won't eat it. I probably won't eat it all. But I really want to try a dessert here. They also have like casseroles and stuff, but that's that's a little much for my gut. So there we go. Cheeseburger. A grilled cheese ribbon fries. Burger and ribbon fries. This is my homemade pimento cheeseburger and tater tots. So guys, this is a fried Swiss cake roll. Never had a fried Swiss cake Sunday. Okay, Jared, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it good? <laughs> so guys, there's this thing that's above the bathroom and it's like a scrolly thing and it tells you all the things about 1915. So apparently in 1950, a house only cost $8,000 and a car only cost $1,500 and the minimum wage was a dollar an hour. And then um, it also says that a stamp was three cents and eggs were 24 cents, a dozen and flour was 54 cents. Milk was 84 cents a gallon. Isn't that insane? It's crazy. Hey guys, so my review of Hot Rod's 50s Diner is definitely a five. I would say that the food is definitely a five because it was so delicious and they have so many menu options. It's insane. Like it was like a five page menu or something crazy. And then the service was really good so I would give it a five and the environment is super cool so i would give it a five as well they really love elvis there's a lot of pictures of elvis on there so i don't understand how jeremy didn't know who elvis i was. know who elvis is <laughs> but anyway and they also have this thing and it's about the bathroom and it it's like a scrolly thing and it gives you a bunch of information about the 1950s, so I really did like it. And it was very clean, so cleanliness definitely a five as well. So yeah, overall, it was a very good experience. Thank you, Mom, for recommending it. I don't know where you found it, but uh, it's very good, and I definitely want to come back. Do you have anything you want to say, Jer? Latinas rule. Jeremy always wants to say that. I do. But he never wants to review the food, so. Oh, and I guess, I don't know, did I go with price? Price, definitely price was good. good. Yeah, like, Quality, like amount of for food. the amount of food that you got and the price, I would say it was a five too, because I think that it was pretty decent. I mean, we only spent $40 and we got an appetizer, two entrees, and a dessert. So, yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button.